Okay, a very uh, special British <laughs> edition of, of these music lessons. Bakerloo, which if you don't know is a train line on the London Underground system. Um, and uh, the British rapper from North London, Kilburn, Nux, popular amongst my students. Uh, this track uh, is in G melodic minor. And I know everyone here comes for like serious theory nerd stewardship. So there's G uh, minor chord. And it's in the melodic minor. And I suppose in some ways it's based over what I've written there awkwardly in yellow, so you can't really see it partly because I'm a rubbish uh, YouTube te teacher, but I'm um, uh, A half diminished, D7, D minor 9. That's quite a nice voicing of that. Um, and the track is loosely based around that kind of harmony, but there are some really interesting things going on which extend from this scale. A scale but with the raised sixth and the raised seventh. Which uh, gives us all kinds of cool things. So it starts here with that voicing of G minor which one of my students called out because they heard me play that voicing in a lesson and then was like oh Mike what do you think of this track? And I, you know that's cool in and of itself, good listening skills. Second chord is that, which is like G minor nine, but with sharp seven, or you know, uh, G melodic minor sound, which is cool. Which goes to A seven. Now you might say, "All oh, right, what has A seven got to do with G minor?" A seven. Well, A seven is the two chord of, of G, uh, with the five chord of D. So it could be a, a secondary dominant there. Especially as the A7, you can see I've written that, or you can't because it's awkward, <laughs> which is perfect. The A7 goes to like a D minor, or a D Dorian, D minor 6. Uh, and then like an A major over D sound at the beginning, and it changes throughout the track. But basically speaking, that's the harmony. of different variations in that there are some subs um, there's one cool thing whereby you get uh, you get kind of a um, uh, you get that so you get a7 into a flat 7 into the G minor 9 sound there sorry I was just taking time to remember what those chords are called uh, and what have you and there's loads of cool extended stuff but the irony being, I suppose, here is that it's going to take a fair bit of theory chops to understand what's going on here and certainly play these voicings. Anyway, I'll have a listen a little bit in context uh, and then you can see some of what's going on here. Great shout. And if you want this done in more detail, just shout. But it's kind of there. Thank you. 
staying on a D Dorian sound here. It's this chord. Back to G minor, A7, D minor 6. And there's the 2 5 1 sound into G minor. Cool. Um, how do you make an instrumental like that, fam? <laughs> Quite easily. You just need to know G melodic minor. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of music, uh, so thanks for the shout, but there we go. Uh, 2-5-1 into G minor. Cool, hope you enjoy. See you later. Bye.